talked and exchanged communications about this very subject. Matlock, of course, was the ambassador with Reagan. He carried over and he was pushing, aggressively pushing, saying, we have to help out the Soviets. Gorbachev is doing this grand experiment of perestroika and glasnost, but he's on a razor's edge. Things aren't working out the way he wants. Economically, the Soviet Union isn't responding to the various things. And this is the, another fascinating aspect of this book. Um, we were there during this time. That's why it's called Disarmament in the Time of Perestroika. We're there watching firsthand what perestroika is. We're watching a factory town whose entire economy revolves around building missiles. The Vodkin's factory was the dominant thing. It ran, it made schools, it built the stores, it built the roads, it ran the budget based upon the military budget that was put in there. Um, and we watched as perestroika tore that system apart, how disarmament tore it apart. Vodkin's was a thriving military factory producing five different missiles and four of those missiles got eliminated by the INF Treaty. And now, no money's coming in. They have to, you know, they're told to start building baby carriages and uh, washing machines to offset SS-20 missiles. It, it's not happening. The economy is falling apart. Everything's falling apart. Um, you know, and, and, and we are witnesses. We are bearing witnesses as, as inspectors. And um, Jack Matlock, is the ambassador during his time. So he is trying to tell George H.W. Bush that we've got to provide aid, but he, Bush wanted to wait and see. He didn't trust Gorbachev. See, Reagan had jumped to the trust Gorbachev then. H.W. was like, no, nah, I don't trust, we have to wait and see, we have to do this policy review. And while he's waiting for this policy review, the Soviet Union is falling apart. And then what happens in uh, August of, uh, of 1991, is Gorbachev goes off to Yalta on a vacation and uh, there's a coup. And um, Yeltsin comes in, takes over, led to the collapse of the Soviet Union and, and all that. This was before Bush had finalized his, uh, his, his, his Russian policy. The, new, the START Treaty, Strategic Arms. <laughs>